it feels pretty special to be the inaugural winner of this award because uh, I think just with the unconscious bias, I automatically expected it to go to a bloke. You know? <laughs> um, but you know, the great thing about Midget, it, he was in touch with his feminine side. You know, he learned how to surf through watching his sister be a ballet dancer, and you know, he was a ballerina on the water. So <laughs> I, honestly, I feel really um, I'm humbled by it. You know, and, and Midget was a real humble guy, and. Um, and he inspired me to be a surfer as well. So I'm, I'm deeply humbled and, and deeply grateful for the opportunity to be the inaugural winner of this. As a 17 year old, Midget literally put Manly on the map. You know, he, uh, winning the first world title here in front of hundreds of thousands of people it looked like from the photos. Um, he just, he just made, he gave Manly its, its core surf culture just through his performance and through his love of surfing and then also through his um, competitive nature. So uh, he helped put Manly on the map, he helped, he helped inspire a future generation of surfers who came from Manly to become world champions and, and uh, I, I've always treasured the fact that I've come from Manly. I remember when I staged the first Beachley Classic down here at Manly, sponsored by Javianas, actually up here at Queenscliff. And, um, and I remember Kid Midget coming down to check it out, and I thought, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, it's cool that the godfather of surfing has come to check out my event. Every time Midget was in my presence, I felt really <sighs> safe, and I felt really um, humbled by his presence, and just I just wanted to watch him. I just wanted to be in his presence because he, I just felt really grounded when he was around. You know? and, and he had this clandestine kind of approach to surfing and his life and, and it was really important that even though he considered himself to be rejected by the industry, you know, I kind of resonated with that a lot too because I felt like I was the little black duck or little black sheep of the industry and I was accused of being a, a loose cannon and, and not playing the game and, you know, Midget was kind of the at the forefront of that in his generation too. I, yeah, I did experience a bit of synergy with, with Midget because he denounced drugs and I never denounced anything, but I kind of, I just didn't play the game and uh, whatever game that was at, my, at the time that I, uh, however I perceived it. So um, yeah, I just felt like I had a lot in common with him and, uh, and I loved the way he surfed and I loved the man that was Midget and, and I miss him terribly. The thing about Midget is there's so much people don't know about the impact and the contribution that he made to surfing. From being a world champion and, and standing up against, uh, standing up for what he believed in to creating the surf foam blanks. And uh, you know, I used to ride the blanks that he made. Yeah. Um, and to shaping magnificent pieces of equipment. And then still going out there and demonstrating what it takes to be a ballerina on the water even into his late 60s. Uh, he, was, um, he was a true gentleman, he was a true lover of the ocean, and he was a true custodian of, of what it means to be a surfer. You'd have to consider that going back all the way back to 1964, had that event not occurred, then we may not have ever had a surf event here. You just, I mean, you just don't know. I do believe that that was a precursor to the explosion of professional surfing and the, the commercialization of the sport and the celebration of the athletes and the, the celebrity of certain athletes throughout the next generation of surfers. So it had a profound effect and um, an undeniable impact on what we're producing today. You know, we've got the best surfers in the best waves, we've got billion dollar industries, we've got surfers being paid millions of dollars to go surfing, and Midget was at the forefront of that. And uh, as a pioneer, we're incredibly grateful to the platform that he paved for the rest of us to benefit from.